Hi everyone and welcome to Delaware Auto Sales today. My name is Nathan. I'm excited to present this Mercedes-Benz wagon to you. I've always been an avid Mercedes lover ever since my mother had a 1982 Mercedes SL convertible when I was a kid. And this wagon is uh, still of the older quality built Mercedes. Awesome, awesome car. Uh, that's our logo and phone number right there. A little bit of glimmer from the sun. Uh, this is a 2003 C320 with the bulletproof 3.2 liter six cylinder Mercedes-Benz engine. And this is a 4Matic. This is an all wheel drive 4Matic wagon. There are not many of these around. And the best part, 57,000 miles. This is like brand new. This car has very few flaws, really nothing that is even worth mentioning, and it is awesome. Awesome all the way. Clean Carfax, two owners. This lived in Nevada until 2015. So from 03 to 2015, 2015, this has only been in Ohio for five or six years and it clearly was not sitting outside had to have been kept in a garage it's just too darn nice um, it's awesome it's classic it's iconic look how clean and clear the front headlights are um, super super car the interior is like new it still smells like new on the inside um, factory sunroof right there we recently sold a 2003, actually same year, Mercedes ML 500 that was a one owner, extremely nice, with 67,000 miles. That was an awesome car as well. So this is kind of its sibling here. But we have gone over and serviced this car just like we do everything before we sell it. Uh, it checked out really, really well. It does have some nice records on the Carfax report. Uh, the tires and brakes are nearly new on this car. The front and rear tires have 8 30 seconds tread. There's the tire size, 205, 55, 16, so they're not very big. Uh, tires are 8 30 seconds. The front brakes and rear brakes, whoever did brakes on this last, put a drilled and slotted rotor on it, which is kind of funny, but you can see how new they are. Uh, front brakes uh, have 10 millimeters, rear brakes have 10 millimeters. So we've got 10 millimeters pad life in the front, 10 millimeters pad life in the rear, even the rear rotors, again, drilled and slotted rotors. Look at that. So those are basically new. The rear tires, same, 830 seconds, same as the front. So definitely won't need tires or brakes for a good long time. Uh, we did a full synthetic oil change on it. Um, we did a four wheel alignment on it. I think the steering wheel was just a little bit crooked. Uh, and then the rear wiper motor we found did not work uh, back here. So we replaced that and it is all operational now as it should be. So that was all we found that it needed and we took care of it. Turn signals in the mirrors. Uh, so it is serviced up, it is ready to go. The interior of this car is absolutely remarkable. There isn't anything negative on the interior. Side airbags in the front and rear. Power windows, Bose factory sound system. Power seat with memory, three memory settings. Uh, all of the leather and seats are literally, literally as nice as new. Bolsters, the headliner is perfect. This car is awesome. Awesome, awesome all the way. Automatic lights. If you know these cars well, you'll know that these plastic pieces are prone for chipping or scratching. There's virtually nothing on this one here. Uh, headlamp washers right there. And <clears throat> there's a few little marks up by the seat adjuster button here, but nothing really terrible at all. Power tilt and telescopic steering wheel sorry for that sunspot can't get away from the sun today steering wheel um, leather is beautiful smooth and nice all the way 
Um, look at the mileage, 57,242 miles. Amazing. It has two Mercedes-Benz keys. This one's an original key. This is probably a replacement key because it looks very new and it's the newer design style key. However, it works just fine. So maybe the previous owner lost a key or just wanted a second one. But this uh, replacement newer key works just fine. But the one that's in the ignition right now is one of the original ones. With It's more flat in design. Um, some storage here in this upper compartment. Even the cup holder still works like it should. I love these little flippy cup holders. And then you push it like that and go down to close it. So very, <laughs> uh, very neat. Uh, the wood is beautiful. <coughs> Shifter is smooth and nice. Uh, climate control, dual zone climate control, original radio, AM, FM, weather band, um, cassette right there and uh, rear wiper uh, washer and thing uh, uh, run, uh, turn the wiper, rear wiper on and wash the rear window ESP electronic stability program traction control door locks towing mode even has the original Mercedes-Benz CD chain and it works uh, the owner's manuals are all, are all there in the leather case like they should be dash is perfect the, like I said there's very little negative to say about this car look how nice the factory formats are uh, this material right here has just started to separate from this plastic just a smidge but I mean, it's no big deal look how clean and nice the door jams are stainless steel sill plate <clears throat> Let's continue on here. The back seat, I don't know that it's ever been used. It's so clean and so nice. All the rest of the mats back here, the backs of the seats are perfect. Side airbags in the rear as well. Look how clean the doors are. Um, the back seats do fold down. There's a release lever here, but the cargo shade is intact, which prevents uh, it from folding until you remove it. <clears throat> this is some of the coolest stuff right here. Power outlet back here, full set of WeatherTech rubber mats back here. The carpet back here is perfect. See how clean it is. Um, <clears throat> the original cargo shade. Right here, you pull, and then it locks in. There's that, and then you push here, and it goes away. Uh, this is the pull-up dog net, which hooks up here into the ceiling, like, ah, hard to do with one hand, hang on. I showed a picture of this in the ad. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold please. <sighs> All right, I needed two hands. There we go. So it hooks into the ceiling like that, and then you have a dog net to prevent your little jumpers from jumping over. Very cool. Actually, I think I'll just leave that up. Um, spare tire is down here. Very clean and nice, as you would expect. Look how nice the stainless piece is right there. Manual closing tailgate, like that. Nice and easy to shut. Oh, actually, I think on this side, I can fold this seat down. Yeah, you can fold this one, but you can't fold the main big part, the 66% part, uh, without removing the um, roller blind and such. But anyway, there you get the idea. The seat folds down flat like that. <clears throat> Again, back seat, very, very nice.
This is nicer than some people's 2018, 19, even 2020 cars. Look how nice that mat is on this side. Look at the embroidery. It's awesome. Awesome. All the way. Awesome. Power seat on this side with the same function that's in controls and the same memory settings. Look how clean the door jam. One touch sunroof. All right. Let's take a look under the hood. Imagine that. It looks like brand new too. <laughs> Sounds just like it should. Look how clean. The battery is actually here on this car, which is surprising because usually it's in the back on Mercedes Benz. Bottom of the hood is very clean. The hood pad is in excellent shape. I will stand here for a moment, let you listen to the engine. of the secondary latch on Mercedes, how they, the handle pops out to allow you to raise the hood. Just wonderful. Yeah, look at that beautiful casting. Look at that beautiful shadow. Boom. Three-pointed star. Something about a Mercedes that doesn't have a hood ornament just doesn't look the same. I love the classic iconic hood ornament on these cars. It does have xenon lights also. I can turn those on to show you. We just got in a very nice one owner uh, C300 4Matic sedan in a black car right over there. It's very nice, but it doesn't have a hood ornament. <clears throat> so there's the uh, xenon lights and fog lights on now. Uh, I mentioned imperfections and I realized I didn't say anything about them, so I do want to at this point. Um, there is a little bit of paint cracking right here uh, by this headlight. As you can see, I'm pointing at it just in that very small area. I don't know what happened. I don't know what it is, but I do know that it's on the bumper. It's not going to probably get any worse. It's definitely not going to rust because it's on the bumper. Uh, that spot right there, and then there's another little spot on this back bumper. There's a little tiny chip right there that's been touched up. <clears throat> There were a couple little marks right here that were touched up. Right there and right there. <laughs> That's like the worst thing on the car. If you said, Nathan, tell me, tell me the worst things on the car, that would be it. So this is an amazing, amazing 57,000 mile C320 wagon. You can't find them like this anymore. They don't make the cars like this anymore. I doubt very much should be able to find another one for sale online oh uh paint little paint chip right there that was touched up i doubt very much should be able to find one online that's as nice as this when i first looked at buying this and bought it i looked online i didn't really see much of anything in the entire country i doubt that's changed very much at this point so come get it before someone else does thanks for watching again my name is nathan that's our uh, logo and phone number there. 
some of our other cars in the back, trucks in the background, cars right here, Porsches, Audis, Infiniti, some cheap stuff, Jeeps, Merce other Mercedes, Range Rovers, lots and lots of stuff. We have a constant and ever-changing inventory, but uh, give me a call, email, whatever you like, and be happy to get you taken care of. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.